what should I play though? Let me look at builds. We should have won. If I didn't push in, we we would have won. If you jump off a bridge, they'll jump with you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They they all just died right after. Like I can think they're bad, but at the end of the day, like that that flash is really bad. And it's just it's a high risk play. But we're still learning the durability, like how it works. Alright. We're playing like a EUS Jinx main. We're gonna we're gonna see what he builds. Well, actually, I'm going to try to find somebody who's playing something unorthodox. And I see a Jinx mid, but it's in gold. So yeah, there's no real unorthodox Jinx builds. It's all ADC or nothing. Sorry, guys. Well, it's the durability patch too. I flashed in thinking I had a lot more damage because I had two items. I had two items and, the, and I saw Ash get hit by a fourth Jinx shot. So yeah, like when I look through the builds, look, when I look through the builds, there's no builds that are uh like most plays there's no unorthodox builds that are most played so this is a mid but that's a gold player and it's eu and e so it's not really a server um we just keep going as you can see still no builds still no builds still no builds still no creativity no creativity no creativity no creativity no creativity it's all just bot lane so that's what we'll do next I mean, at least, at least we didn't lose Jinx jungle because it was Jinx jungle. We lost because we lost because oh, I should have ran it back. I should have ran it again. Honestly, I let the team down, man. I had to protect my sheep. I expected too much. I knew our comp was risky. Our comp was risky because they're all squishy. And I knew that. And I still went for the gamble play. I guess the gamble play is okay in theory, but because I don't know my damage yet, I guess it's bad. Right? That's that. I think that's really what it boils down to. Is because the jungle pick wasn't what lost us the game. It was that I flashed in after everything was going smoothly, and then my team comp just fell apart. Because I knew I knew top was gapped. I knew mid was gapped. I knew bot was gapped. But I was still in charge of the game up until that flash. Yeah, once I looked it back over and I saw he was stunned, then I was like, oh, I was bitching for no reason. It's just a bad flash. It's bad because of the durability. The Ash had so much durability that I couldn't get the I couldn't get the kill when I flashed forward. I'm mad, man. I could have and even in mid, I flashed out of the Hecarimol and I still they were like super low and I couldn't get any of those shutdowns there either. I just could not finish anything. Our comp was so bad, like late game. The only damage we actually had was me and Darius. All the other, all the other uh, damage dealers were just fall off. Now that I think about it. Because Jin damage falls off hard versus that comp. It, does, it practically does nothing. All right, what is up, guys? It is Chill Niece, and we are chilling yet again. And we're bringing Jinx back. She's going to be ADC this, AD, ADC this time. We're going standard, lethal tempo, presence of mind, bloodline, cut down, absolute focus, and gathering storm. This is the... Honestly, there's not many off-meta builds for Jinx. Well, I could have did jungle again. I probably should have. I probably should have, but we're going to go with... We're going to go with just a standard... Uh, you know, Jinx one trick pony build. That build is four items. It's basically the same thing as last game, except with a PD, Phantom Dancer. So Kraken Slayer, Phantom Dancer, IE, and Lord Doms. We threw last game because of the new patch. Bad flash in. I'm gonna make sure to not do that ever again. It's gonna take some time to adjust to people being a little bit beefier. Going for an early 2v2, pretty risky for Samira Nautilus. That said, I'd rather 2v2 early than wait for the whole game. All right, I guess we're just dead here. There we go.
hell are you not level two already, dude? The minion was mad at me. a good little battle we it was super worth it actually good job Rakan we fought it out we got our we got our hands dirty major worth God, that was like the dumbest thing I've seen all day. Someone tell me how that was smart ever. Can't walk up or I get Nautilus hooked. reset then whatever hopefully they don't freeze it I don't think they will anyways it's Samir the Samir players have like no IQ so it's fine reason I say that is because what they do is they just slam Samira into people and get fed so they don't have any they don't have any like lane knowledge or anything like that if they did they wouldn't be playing Samira there is perfect. Jarvan's EQ is really good. Huge win. Now let's just get this wave under and we 
we can afford Kraken, so we basically just rushed out of Kraken really fast. Oh, I better rotate to this one. We just lose this. I don't know. I don't really know how, but okay. back right now, bro. I'm probably dead. No, I'm not. He stopped his back, thank God. Oh, shit, I am dead. Why is Urgot here? Uh, so we're going to play 2v4 here, I guess. Please, like, do something as a support, my friend. It's so hard to move up when a support is, like, super afraid all the time. Oh, we can't do anything here. Come on. game to act like there was I was afraid of the Nautilus
So Fizz is fed and he's got good farm, so that's gonna be pretty, pretty tough. Oh great. What a joke. Damn. This Rakan is so, like, not hungry. It's so depressing. I'm always in front of him. Still has a big bounty. I have no sums now, so I don't know if I can even go near him. Unless he uses his abilities on someone else, I, I'm not allowed to do anything. Jarvan stuff. Because if I take all of it, then he might rage quit. Oof. What? Why did it change? Oh. <laughs> what a joke. back up until I know more.
Goodbye. All right. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. I've, uh, I've done a good job of getting through the early. My support did make a decent engage there. Kind of wasted his flash on the Urgot. Oh, what's going on here? Interesting. this way. Read like a book. Fun fact, Fizz just only had to E there. Flashed it. I got lazy there. I thought it wasn't going to hit me. Worth. Alright. Uh, I'm supposed to go Lord Dom's next. One. Look at those tabbies. Whoa. Whoa. Tabby, 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 tabby. Whoa. Tabby, 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 tabby. Tabby, 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 tabby. Run, Jinx, run. Go, go, go. Chase the kills, boys. You can do it alone, definitely, with Rakan and... Wow, I played that so bad, but it didn't matter.
go, 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 go. Okay, Darius. We'll take this dragon, we'll take the Baron. Oh, they surrendered. Nice. GG. GG. Nicely done. Nicely done. So we should have won the jungle game. We won the second game with the standard Jinx build from a one-trick pony. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of good Jinx builds. I should have won the jungle game, and I and I will take full responsibility for not doing Jinx jungle round two and carrying the next game. Um, well, we promoted to gold, and for those who are wondering, here is the results of Chill Nice. Um, the account was used... Let's get let's actually get a real data point here. So for anybody that was hating on the uh the climb so far, we started about let me see before I go. We started at obviously A. So A Aatrox, right there. There it is. Aatrox two months ago. Um, we started, so the account obviously has 70, looks like 74 games, um, but we have played 63. We had a 49 uh, wins, 14, oh, oh, I'm sorry, 50 wins and 14 losses, random champs, um, random champs, in, well, not random, but A to Z, right? Oh, sorry, 83, bad math. Yeah, 80, 83, I'm dumb. Wait, no, that's 80, that's 84, yeah. It, yeah, it's 84 because of the, or 85 because of the last game. Anyways, 40 or 50 over 14. Most of the games that we lost, we lost because of inexperience. Most all of the games we lost because of inexperience of champions. We, uh, you know, Camille was the support game. That was like one of the legit losses. K Caitlyn, I think we had like a troll or something. No, we had a Fed Siver Yumi combo. That's where I banned Yumi. Braum top kind of had some trolls in that one. Bard. Uh, I don't remember what happened with the Bard game. Oh yeah, it was AD Bard. We had a troll. Amumu. Both the Amumu games had some really goofy teams. Alistar, same thing. Goofy teams. But generally speaking, like... It was a combo of goofy teams, but just not being experienced. So yeah. That's... It, it, I don't want to hear it anymore from players talking about their teams or holding them back. This is gold. This is the top of the uh, introductory ELO. We ran the test. You literally can play whatever you want with goofy builds and get to gold. You have no excuse. All right? You have no excuse. I even could have won this jungle jinx game. I misplayed. Looking back on the re replay, I misplayed this one. This is all... This is why we did this too. Part of the reason is because we're seeing where it really gets tough, right? And you can see it isn't even that hard to get to to get to gold. Random champs. Now imagine you play your main champ and you really iron out the strategy. You're going to be winning just as much as I do, or if not more. So anyways, without further ado, what up gamer dad? Without further ado, I'm going to take my lunch break. I'll be back in 45 minutes. Uh, thanks for being here. And remember, stay chill. And tomorrow we'll do some more and we'll try to push our way into platinum next.